Hi guys, today I will show you some magic in your Excel formula bar. This magic will help you to eliminate a bunch of avoidable steps that you don't have to do every time. For example, these parentheses. This bracket means something magical is happening inside the formula in Excel. This is an array function, and array function allows you to perform mathematical operations on many cells instead of just one by one. Let me show you how it happens. So I have a sample data, which is my returns for the year, and these returns are for each month for the year. Um, these, this calculating these returns, for example, if I want to calculate the year to date, there are certain ways to do that. And there are certain complications in doing those formulas as well. For example, if I want to calculate it one by one, I'll have to put in one plus uh, the D6, the cell reference for the return. Then I have to close the parenthesis, multiply it with, um, again, um, one plus D7 means for the next month and so on and so forth. I'll have to continue the same formula till the end of the year each month putting in this formula and at the end I'll put minus one. So this is what I'll have to write it down till the end. Let me write it down quickly for you through a macro that makes it easy for me to run. So you can see for the full month I've run it through but it's not that simple. When you go month by month there are chances of errors as well. There are chances that you missed something and it's, it's pretty time taking. So I will, I will give you a simple solution for that but before that there's another solution that I want to run through um, and I want to show you how you can do it till year to date. So for that reason you'll have to first of all copy the D6 formula that is uh, return for the particular month January 2015 so I will just put in over here is equal to sign and I will take this return for January and then I will put on another formula that will calculate um, on the basis of this value for example is equal to one <coughs> uh, cell that is February plus one multiplied by I'll start the parenthesis again and I will put uh, here for example E6 that is my return till month of January I will plus one um, this as well I will close the formula here and of course I will definitely pull in the minus one so this is how it works and till the end I will drag it down and I'll get the same figure at the end in December you can see. So again I'll ha I had to write it down the formula and drag it down till the end so that we can see month by month progress and um, year to date the total returns that were paid. So now I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the magic over here in the formula bar. So I will put um, product formula it's a simple product formula then um, I will give the number of arguments that it will multiply uh, it will be the full year plus one I will close the formula but here when I put minus one I will press control shift control shift enter so control shift enter gives me the same number and you can see parentheses in your formula again I'll press control shift enter which will give the parentheses and that's how this magical formula uh, quickly calculates if you do not do this control shift enter magic it will not give you the correct value so this is this is how you can run this formula very successfully and in, in, in seconds you can get the number the desired number without going on each and every one of these numbers so there, there's another way I will show you for example if I want to take the average of these um, um, so what I will do is I will simply take absolute value that is simple calculation so I've calculated all of them absolute and now irrespective of plus, plus or minus I will take an average of all these numbers and that is here so I had to pull in two formulas to get this average there's a simple way to do that as well so I will write only one formula with the help of this magic of parenthesis that is I will take average of these numbers that are appearing over here all of the months plus before that I will take absolute numbers so I will take average of all absolute numbers in this range I will close the formula over here with the two brackets and I'll press the magical control shift and enter control shift and enter and you see parentheses are there 
and you can see the number as well. So in one formula, I managed to run uh, two formulas. So this is how this magic can help us to run it quickly. Now, we can also do the same trick with transposing the numbers. So for example, if I want to transpose this, I will calculate it. Uh, I can see in the address bar, it's 13 by two, 13 rows and two columns. So I will choose from here, 13 columns in this case and two rows. So now I will start typing the formula is equal to transpose. I will put in the range of the array that is from here. I've selected all the range. Now I'll close the formula and I'll press control shift enter. That is the magical formula. You can see the transpose is magically done here. It's very fast, it's quick and it's exactly correct. But the problem is you don't forget this magical formula, control shift enter. So guys, this was some of the tips for using this magical control shift enter uh, formula in your Excel spreadsheet and uh, saving your time. I hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.